Hello, it's Mary Lou, and I'm here to share my new journal with you. Uh, this one is, you can see the theme is Totally Mermaid and the Ocean. I used a kit from Screech Owl Studios to, uh, to make the journal. Added uh, papers from other sources like this mermaid. I think I got that from Design Bundles. Mermaid scales, it looks like to me, or fish scales, but it looks like mermaid to me. The focal image, really I loved this one. I picked it out and um, it was in my stash. I added some tool around here that has sparkles on it. It's a kind of a teal tool. I did some spraying down here with uh, Lindy's sprays. Anyway, I won't go into a lot more details other than to say it's seven and a half by five and a half. It has a two inch spine with three signatures. And there's the back, the ties. Our eyelet tie, a clo I used eyelets for the closure. And then this is Sari Silk Ribbon that I just was thrilled to find. You'll see there's a lot of different ones in the, in the journal, but look at how that just reflects the sea. It has so many of the colors. Um, 98 plus pages, I think I said that. This is embossed with gold on the, on the edge here, just for some more glitz. And I did some Winka Stella on several places on the mermaid herself. Let's go inside. The, the kit I used, I started to say, and I don't think I said it, is called Siren Song, and it's from Screech Owl Studios. I'm calling this The Mermaids. Um, and I, as much as I could, I debated and talked this over with my hubby and talked about it. And um, some of the image I chose had breastuses, as he calls them, in it. So what I did is I used some pretty stickles to cover some of that so as not to offend anybody. I'm not a prude, but, you know, I don't want to offend, offend either. So that was my decision and hope that's okay. Anyway, there's a pocket on the front with this is a... Um, a two-piece die cut that I have that did I did several different things in here and that's one of them the little uh, crab it says this journal belongs to for there there's some images these are not from the kit these are from my own stash and the story begins is stamped there I did some stancing, stamping I did uh, I did a lot of spraying as you'll see with Lindy sprays and we're going to see that here starting to see it very sparkly, very shiny. This kit is beautiful, and Yvonne gives you some beautiful pages to put on the back side of the, uh, you know, the focal pages. Here's a pocket that I created. There's a little clam. Um, no, this is a pocket from the kit, sorry. So this is a pocket. Here's a little tag in the, in the front. Back here I have two images that are in uh, glassine bags. And I put some sparkly eyelash um, fibers there. There's a couple of mermaids. Yep. And a, a cute little um, seahorse from the kit itself. There you can see some of the spraying I did. It just, I wanted it to look like the ocean. And I think I accomplished that. Here's a little mermaid clip that I had in my stash and I made this a flip so you can either glue it down if you prefer to make a pocket or leave it open so that you can journal in it. And this is a, um, a pocket, an envelope that I created. I put the image on the front uh, and inside is the mermaids. It's a poem about the mermaids. On this side is this little tag. Now there's some old ephemera type from movies and old um, books. And so you're going to find those three out. I, I glitzed them up with some Wink of Stella. The fish in her, in her um, comb and tail and stuff. Here's a vellum page of the ocean. I hope you can see it. It's, it's easier seen in person. Let me see if I can slip a... I don't have any white paper close at hand to slip back there, but it's white. I mean, it's it's got the foam here, and it's very pretty. <coughs> Excuse me. I've had a cough for a few days. Pretty um, doily with a one another one of my die cuts. 
Here's an image from the kit that I just glued down there on the page. And I stuck this in. There's some parchment. <coughs> There's some parchment paper that I put, I inked with blue around the edges. And here's some stamping. Little fishes. There's one of my sparkly pages. Center of the first signature. We have a double pocket over here. In the front is this image. And then I made some vellum envelopes. So this is a small one. And it's got a tiny little card inside. <coughs> okay. In the second pocket in the back is an image from the kit that says the silent or siren ballet. And then this was fun to find, an old movie poster for one of the movies I remember watching with my mom. And I did find it on YouTube and watched it the other night. <clears throat> so, and then here's a tag with a charm and a little, a little bead. And there's some of that sorry silk. Over here on this belly band, and you see some of the lace I put on the edge and put fibers here. Here's one of my little booklets. It's a <clears throat> Gail, Gail Agostinelli book, booklet that I learned to make with two envelopes glued together. And then on the back, I put that image. And you've got this as your closure. And then inside, I created from Yvonne's kit. <clears throat> There's two of these on each side in each envelope <clears throat> for more journaling space. Two more over here. Get them out with my nails. There you go. There you go. Two of those. And then <clears throat> there's parchment paper that I've inked with the blue. So that gives you some more writing space. And let me tell you before I go any farther that <clears throat> The cough that I have is not, I'm not sick, I just I have allergies. They seem to hit me every April and they have this, this year. I thought I was getting better, better but <clears throat> doing the video is aggravating my throat, I think. So there's some more of that. Here's some parchment paper with stamping. Another pretty page. And another one. Here's a pocket from the kit. Or this might have been one I made. I don't know. Anyway, here's a pretty tag from the kit, the mermaid. And then this is just like this one on front. Just a little label that you can use wherever you want. <clears throat> There's the other side of that doily with another seashell. And vellum page. <clears throat> um, here's a little pocket that I stuck a little seahorse in. The sea is calling me. And in the pocket which is on parchment paper. There's the little gal that's on the um, on the inside front page. There's another movie called Miranda. I think I watched it too. This is a beautiful image that I had in my stash. And then this. I thought that was kind of cool for ephemera. <clears throat> Stamping and spraying and spraying. There's a little pocket that I created. A little tag from the kit, so pretty, <clears throat> with fibers, a, a mermaid waiting for the men, and, and true to a siren, they would sing and try to <clears throat> draw the uh, the sailors to them and steal their bounty or whatever. Sorry, I can't. I have important mermaid stuff to do. I think that's a great little saying <clears throat> that you could use the end of the first and on to the second. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful images. Okay, here's a pocket I created looking like I hoped either like waves or <clears throat> scales <clears throat> on a sprayed page. Here's an image and it's printed on Red River uh, canvas. There's another an old ephemera with a mermaid on it. And then a tag I created and it's got Another um, bulb pin with some pretty sari silk and, and a charm. 
fibers on the edge of the sprayed page and some stamping. <clears throat> Another pocket with the seashell uh, punch that I had. Here's an envelope from the kit with one of the cards inside. Very pretty. <clears throat> and then there's a little a little um, story here, the Little Mermaid. Here's a pretty image that I had in my stash, and she's looking at a shell and saying, what is it? I glitzed her up a little bit with Wink Costella. And then here's a little booklet, <clears throat> the Siren Song, and it has parchment papers in there for you to journal on. Here's another part, uh, vellum page. A doily with a sous shell. There's a pocket that I created from in, things in the kit and some of the paper from the kit. Put it on a beautifully sprayed page. <clears throat> There's a couple of three mermaids, I guess, three mermaids, waiting for a ship to come closer. <clears throat> and there's looks like they already got the bounty. The ship is sunk and there's mermaids dividing the loot. Another image from the kit. And a tag. Notes. Okay, this is the center of the second signature. And what I've done is there's notes on this side. A weekly planner. Then notes over here. And another weekly planner. So I think you could um, date them and... and um, just use part of them if you want to make it stretch for more than two weeks. <clears throat> now, most all of the little ornaments that I have over here, the little shells, are tuck spots. And so I put a few of the little sh other shells and things in there to help, you, help me to remember and for you to see. Here's another tag I created. It's got a pretty bead on it, glass bead. And look at the pretty sari silk. And then I found this image. And it's on Red River. She's a beautiful sea nymph. And here's another vellum envelope. And inside there is Mermaid Mischief. So that's an old piece of an ephemera as well. And it's printed on Red River. I did it a lot more than I usually do on this one. Whoops. Okay, I think I've messed that up, but I'll try to fix it. <clears throat> and there's a page from the kit doily on the other side and the other side of the vellum. Here's another, it's a two-layer pocket. One here with the seahorse on it and then up here there's two little mermaid things. I believe in mermaids and another little piece of ephemera from days gone by. In this pocket there's a page from the little mermaid. Okay, in the next page there you go. This one is, I just love the colors I got on this one. <clears throat> Here's a page that I used, uh, one of the envelopes, the glassine envelopes from Laura's shop, and inside of it I put, aha, surprise, a mermaid, and it closes with the shell to keep it sealed. Keep her in there. Here's an image with a mermaid. Uh, and a girl sitting on a tree trunk, I guess. And then this beautiful image is on Red River. Photo mat um, <clears throat> canvas. That's the end of the second signature. Look at the beautiful image. Again, the ships and the sirens. <clears throat> There's a pocket that I created. And again, this has a tuck spot here. I just didn't put one anything there. There's another smaller picture of the image on the front. Here's another image, and image, it said, she at last came to the prince who could scarcely swim. So, must be the Little Mermaid, another page. And then here's an envelope from the kit. It's got another pretty image from the kit, a card. Actually, let me put it in this way. There you go. Get yourself in there. Here, go this way. There we go. Lots of pretty, pretty sparkles. Okay, there's a vellum page here with the mermaid on it. 
And then the same paper used over here, printed on 110 pound cardstock that I get from Walmart. There's an image from the kit with a, a mama mermaid and her little mermaid baby. And there's the cunard line with the mermaid. It's an old shipping um, company ephemera. Here's an envelope that I created from uh, some of these papers. It's on. It's in vellum. And inside, there's a sailor and his mermaid. <coughs> there we go again. so much fun making those papers I can't tell you center of the third signature there's that gal this was going to be the focal image and then I decided to go with that other one so here's another one she's printed on Red River a card from the kit a mermaid I found over here on this side there's a mermaid card from the kit I made this and I was going to put it on a page <coughs> and then I didn't. <coughs> sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. So it will be in here and you can do with it as you will. And then here's another one of the cards or the little booklets I made with parchment paper. So there's lots more writing space. Little fitties. Here's another double page. There's a little tuck in mermaid card there. I'm not going to try to read it because it's too small a print for me tonight. Okay, and there's a mermaid admiring herself. There's a mermaid tag that I created and it's got a, a fitty with a, some stones there and some another bead here. And look at that pretty. I just thought these all so reflected. I went through all my sorry silk and took out all of it that had any colors of the ocean in it, and that's what I chose from. There's another image. Here's another little, one of those tuck spots that I created that you can either glue down to make a pocket or just do that for journaling. And in it, there's a double pocket, or there's a pocket here on this tag. The mermaid, there's a shell on a bulb pin. This lovely image of a mermaid. And then I think this is another page from The Little Mermaid or some such book, an old vintage book. And another mermaid um, paper clip. Thank you. <laughs> and some uh, fibers. Oh, and on this side I believe in, mer in mermaids. And that is the end of the book. The, the back cover with um, this journal handmade for you by me in 2019. And a couple of more. This is ephemera, definitely an old Believe It or Not from the Ripley Show. And then this cute little image from a book. And the pocket has, again, one of these little um, shells. Okay, that's it. <clears throat> All the information, more detail than I gave you in the video, will be down below in the show more area, so be sure to read that. Um, thanks for stopping by to watch my video. Sorry about the coffin, Jags. I hope you have a beautiful, blessed day. Thanks for stopping by. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.